I'm always looking for ways to improve, ways to get better. So, um, yeah, as I said, I think we've, there's a there's a lot of respect between the coach and athlete. Um, and I know if I'm working hard, he's working just as hard on how we can improve, organizing the season, working on what training we should do. He's always trying to think how we can get better. So it kind of helps having a coach where I'm not worrying about what sessions to I'm turning up to training. I know what session he thinks is going to make me improve. I can talk to him and say maybe I need to do – something else a little bit different or and we can kind of work out a, a midpoint there so I think definitely over the last few years we've kind of worked out for me personally what 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 works what doesn't what we need to change leading into seasons what what has worked or whatever so I think we've built built a good good structure for how we base a year um and obviously as I said we're, we're still trying to improve each year and he's he's definitely keen to get better um no matter how good you are he always thinks you can get better so I think that's a big positive thing as well yeah I feel like um I feel like there's one thing I've seen from Nick. It's like the guy never rests. He never stops. He's never he's never content with with how fast or how good his group can be. But you mentioned there about all oh, Nick's always trying of trying to find ways to you know improve and get you guys you know really peaking as best as possible. In a in a world now in a running world where double threshold is like the 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 the, the key word that everyone is sort of fussing around because of Jakob and the whole Ingebrigtsen movement. I'm interested to know, like, have you noticed any changes in the training from NTC over the past few years um, where newer methods are maybe starting to sort of factor into the group? Or is it still a case of, look, this model has worked for so many pro athletes over the years. We're just going to make finer tweaks for each individual. What is it like from your perspective? Yeah, I think when you, it's easy when you, we've got a process that works, it's kind of, you've got a structure and you know what you need to do. And as you mentioned, I think, Every individual athlete, you got to tweak it a little bit. Not not everyone can train the same. Everyone has different strengths that you've got to work on. Different weaknesses you've got to try and improve as well. So I think for us, it's we've got a process that works. We're trying to adapt it every year to get a little bit better. Um, I don't think we've we've made massive changes because I think it's easy to go, oh, whatever's working for Jakob, why don't we just do that? But obviously, it doesn't work for everyone. It's it obviously works well for him, but it doesn't mean it's going to work well for everyone. And he's kind of worked out a process. That individually works out for him so um i think we've got we've got that kind of structure um but as i said we're trying to improve each year so whether that's how we structure the season um whether how long we stay in base training or whether we try and do more high intensity stuff during the middle of the european season or whatever to maintain that sharpness or whatever i think he's always looking for little things like that um and i think every year we're getting better at kind of understanding what what we need to do to try and be competitive on the the world stage hopefully especially end of season. If, if you're trying to run a 10K at the end of the year, you've got to be ready in December. So um, for me, I think it's, you, you're obviously training hard over this time, like this time of year, you're doing a lot more base work, not really focusing too specific on high intensity kind of race efforts or anything to get ready for races. I think you, you're kind of treating this time of year as the pre-season phase of the season. You can't go, this is my grand final. I've got to peak right now. I've got to be ready to go these, these months. Because if you're peaking now, it's going to be hard to turn it around in a couple of months when world champs, Olympics or whatever come ahead. So for us, yeah, I feel like we're we're kind of in the pre, pre-season phase over our domestic season where you're trying to get ready to run well at races. But in the back of your mind, you're always hoping you're, you're at 85, 80%, 90% maybe, um, knowing that you can progress from there and hopefully get to Europe and step it up that 10% by the time the championship comes around. 